Hello everyone, welcome back on vtrading.eu uh, We are now ready for another uh, scalping setup mod mm, Today I will remember you to, to read the risk disclaimer because this video is for uh, didactical only purpose Now, the website is investing.eu dot vtrading dot you and uh, you here you can uh, and um, give uh, a lot of workers a lot of strategies educational bonus best vps to trade and videos and other things so i remember you mm, to visit the website going to the platform i will show you my uh, trading setup for scalping on Nasdaq and gold we will use tick distribution we will use uh, the oscillator but uh, we will see also my uh, ball fix setups to have a better uh, configuration um, and uh, uh, to study the perfect way to to trade uh, this type of uh, of instrument for now i will see two top um, two resistance at uh, on nasdaq at 2000 and um, 200 and uh, and uh, on uh, sp x sp 500 <laughs> we have a support here on the last price 150 55 and the main resistance at 181 <coughs> I'm sorry so um, we will start again to understand how to trade this morning this is European session. Our uh, instrument say us to stay short because we have short, short descriptions. We have uh, a lower value of oscillator in both time frame M1 and M15. Also on gold, we have short descriptions and. Uh, lower value of uh, oscillator so we will start to sell gold to and uh, to catch the double down uh, the double bottom prices and uh, we will set the stop loss on the top of the last swing this is the first trade for this soft for this instrument and on Nasdaq we will sell again when M15 will go to zero value on my oscillator if you want to see also the trading dome uh, we have um, bullish way on over uh, 35 but for now we are under so we will stay bearish on sp500 we have uh, now a good value as a support but as you can see this value uh, are coming to be red see how to move this value if this value loss va loss value it will go to be again uh, in bearish mode and the pressure book is bearish so i think that for now the bearish way is uh, the only uh, useful way to trade uh, this type uh, of uh, markets uh, 
we um, we will check we will check uh, together uh, to stay to stay in this uh, setup uh, value because uh, I think it's very useful for now to have uh, this setup um, we can start also to sell I think uh, uh, Nasdaq for a little bit trade stop on the last swing um, and for now we will wait for a better trade I will uh, I'm watching also my my other desktop to see if uh, something is changing but look okay looks very good these positions uh, we needed to wait we needed to wait to, to go in cash it's very useful to have this uh, fantastic software because it's a uh, it's a way a simple way to trade uh, um, the, the the main value this is the the area the value area the lower value area okay we will stay sell under this value area and here we are in the POC for now so the POC uh, maybe is a, a good resistance going to the um, trading dom we'll see that uh, this area is our resistance okay so in this area we can try to sell again this is a very very important area to sell again so I will add another cell with the same stop loss We can set stop loss, a lower stop loss on Nasdaq, and um, now we wa we will wait for a better positions on Nasdaq. Here, very good. We will we will set. Uh, stop at zero and here uh, we will wait for a lower price so this area was the resistance and it's working is working good here another setup of my wall fix this is the resistance, the main resistance area. This is the second low, uh, resistance area. This is the support here. Um, very, very, very simple way to trade. Nothing to say on SP500. 
let me see here again we can uh, we can wait on Nasdaq we can wait on Nasdaq and on gold we are at zero in this moment prices below okay uh, delta is moving lower lower let me see again this number we need the red number here prices are near the lower setup um, okay read the number on delta this give us more chance to have profit from seller um, gold gold on gold we need to see a lower price a lower price we needed to see it um, it's important to have uh, less two value less two value we are again in gray and here nothing uh, moving Nasdaq uh, near target but I want to close it okay I catch this profit okay this is the first profit and now we have at zero value here we need to wait a better price gold 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 please go down On the book we have uh, a support at 34, in 34 maybe prices uh, will go near this price but uh, have difficult to, to show new lower price. We need to understand what to do. Okay, Nasdaq is the double top of the day. Wow, very bearish setup today. I want to stay again in sell mode, but uh, I want to see the reaction of prices here. If we be reaction, it will be a good good things for uh, for us reaction or not also on, uh, not on gold uh, maybe we are near a lower price for now the break uh, of this value is uh, very uh, very important to stay again in uh, short mode we are near this value we need to stay under 34 okay uh, but if price uh, can't move here it's not good but if they can we will help us to stay in short mode
Nasdaq will go very fast low low price wow We can try now to sell on this rebound to catch the double top prices. This is the strategy. And we set we set the gold here Ooh, the lowest stop loss, but not now. We have uh, again a price over. We have again a rebound here, but with uh, a negative delta. So I think the price that the price is. Uh, We'll search again new lower prices. This is the resistance and the second resistance. Price above uh, the first resistance. Uh, very interesting, but uh, we are uh, again uh, ready to another sell. Maybe yes, so I will try again with another cell on gold. And I wait for Nasdaq lower prices. Okay, very interesting uh, configuration for now. We are in and we need to wait to cash out. Okay, we are near again and after last, last uh, uh, minutes. As you can see, we have uh, a Nasdaq that uh, are going in the, the correct direction and uh, uh, gold uh, stopped here not stopped but uh, uh, with no trade trading in this area um, this is uh, useful this is uh, interesting because we um, in effect we can stay here to to trade better and we can try uh, to uh, to get a, a better value of our trade. We owe another profit. Fantastic. Good. Another profit here. And now we need only to wait the gold with the three positions. Three positions and... Um, it's very interesting to understand uh, what to do on uh, on gold. Uh, very fast uh, lower movement on Nasdaq. Uh, sellers are very active. 
it's important now to understand why this movement is so strong and when the movement can stop to sell uh, see here this delta on Nasdaq is very strong on sell and also on SP500 SP we have a, a lower delta very important this value we can to set this weak setup so main resistance second resistance and the first the, the, the either resistance here uh, very 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 strong sellers very very strong sellers okay we are with no positions on nasdaq but uh, short on gold so we needed to understand what gold want to do i think that uh, prices can fall from these prices and uh, we need to trade this uh, this movement we are already in positions so i don't want to get more risk here i will move with nasdaq again i want to see a new swing the main swing for uh, nasdaq is uh, 200 okay on 200 we can um, stay short again for today Let's see how this uh, uh, delta is moving and how price action is moving the, the price. Uh, we have a little, a little bit of rebound after a strong seller with a strong uh, negative delta balance uh, and now no strong uh, positive balance maybe we can uh, we can wait for another lower price uh, but i'd like to move on the nasdaq uh, with uh, a better value on gold i want it to be with less risk on uh, on gold so uh, maybe i can try to sell all at zero value for example uh, maybe it's a, a good way to stay uh, to stay to stay more clear okay um, very very difficult for now to wait mental uh, system mental coach mental uh, way is the key okay gold maybe are are moving to our to our value we need the two dollar 
from here two dollar lower and we will be happy also one dollar is uh, is good Okay, uh, I close one of my gold. Okay, but is uh, very near to the to the target. I no, I move all the target on this uh, lower area and reduce reduce my stop loss and I wait for a new top on the Nasdaq to stay sell again this is the setup I will update you ok we are again online uh, let me see what's happening uh, one stop on gold uh, less 7 and one take uh, again on Nasdaq and uh, now we are the two positions um, that uh, are going uh, here in the right direction maybe uh, now we are um, effectively uh, in the main trend positions also SP500 going down and the Nasdaq uh, uh, have no bullish support in bullish trend so we can understand that the prices uh, are good to sell on on um, on a rebound on the next rebound we uh, will, will try to sell again okay um, also for uh, gold um, we need to exit from this uh, uh, stagnation situation so we need uh, to to move uh, to move lower 34 on CFDs okay at soon okay we are again uh, to say um, in searching to new setup I have just sold uh, Nasdaq here and I will set the um, take profit uh, um, lower 119 and uh, um, stop loss on the last swing on gold uh, we are in loss for now and we need uh, again to wait uh, prices uh, for better for better positions um, on nasdaq i i'd like to show this no this this on sp500 i have decided to sell the nasdaq because sp500 is not over the uh, the resistance is low low uh, below the resistance so i think that um, this uh, value is uh, over value uh, in fact we can set already the, the stop at zero and this is a free risk trade it's good for us okay great okay friend now uh, i want to close these these prices on nasdaq i want to get this little profit but i waited uh, a few a few minutes and nothing is changed so it's uh, it's good to to take it and now um, we will 
weight uh, only the gold now market is uh, is very slow movement i just uh, i have just opened a new cell on nasdaq to take this uh, little movement and a sell on gold again on the top we are to uh, stop loss um, one is cover discover um, we have uh, at zero from today today oh a little bit in in a loss but we can try to come back in profit now this is the situation is very simple but and we need to to understand better how to organize all okay um on gold um now maybe the sentiment is changing in long so i want to test this last cell but uh, i will move uh, next operations in long above 1840 this is uh, uh, this in 40 uh, 40 this is the level where bully market come back will come back from for 40 to 42 or 43 okay and this is the the, the scam that i want to to set up um on the nasdaq we can move in 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 pair uh, we can uh, okay we cash out now and uh, uh, remain only the gold that i want to cash out also so uh, we have uh, a little bit loss for now but uh, uh, we can try now with a long on gold till 42 and on Nasdaq maybe we can try also a long year with stop loss okay because this price are testing supports and maybe um, the rebound will look uh, for new top now uh, this is what i see in this moment okay see see this setup prices are going very fast up so i move the first position in stop in uh, Brackhaven. i add a new long year two new long year and i want to uh, set up this risk at uh, at the top um, we can reduce the risk here and uh, we can add long position all in this way that will help me to um, catch new new top okay um we will play only long here see this this is m15 this is m5 um, and this is the volume setup we have wrote this level now pull back on this level and this level is green supported by volume 
um, now the volume uh, can go to the next level this is uh, 42 and 46 okay <coughs> this is the setup that uh, we need to use now green uh, green uh, uh, situation also on uh, book all green all green here so prices are very bullish here okay we need to wait the start of this movement and we will make money soon very very interesting 